Now, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to start by creating a metric filter for my log groups in the CloudWatch. I'll start a new service that is my CloudWatch. And under the service of CloudWatch, I'll go ahead and I'll select my log group, which I'm interested in. I'll expand my logs and I'll select my log groups. Now here, there are multiple log groups. One important log group is this. This is the log group that we have created earlier. See, this is the same AWS Cloud Trail logs, the same uh, log group that we have created over here. I'll just click on this log groups. See, once I click this log groups, now, I can go ahead and start creating the metrics, guys. In this scenario, I'll select my action and I'm going to create a metric filter. Now, once I create this metric filter, so here for the filter pattern, we can mention the pattern which we are interested to uh, filter on, okay? So let's say I'm interested in uh, like the filter pattern of stopped instances, okay? I'm going to mention the filter pattern something like this. I'm going to say stop. So for the stop instances, I'll mention my filter pattern like this. I'll say dollar dot event name is equal to stop instances. So this is the filter pattern that I'm going to specify right here. And then I'm going to select the log data to test. So here we've got the custom log data. Okay, so what I'll do right now is, so I'll select the cloud trial log. This is the cloud trial log. That is the cloud trail, which we have created earlier. So this is the cloud trail log. Okay. Now, uh, once this is done, okay. So I'm going to specify my log event message. I'm going to say uh, cloud trail event message log data. Okay. Once this is done, Okay, once this is done, I'm going to create the next button. Before that, we can test the pattern as well. So if I click on test, if I click on test pattern, so currently it says no results pattern, no results match the filter pattern. Okay, the reason because it's not connected anywhere as of now, I'm just creating the filter pattern. So stop instances and I have selected the log data to test is this the same log data. Okay, now once this is done, I'll click on the next button. Now here in the screen, I will have to mention the filter name. So I'm going to say something like this. I'll say stop instance count. Okay, and the filter pattern is the same. And for the metric name, okay, for the metric name, I'm going to mention as EC2 stopped instance count. Okay, this is what I'll specify. And the metric value I'll mention it as one. And default value, I'll leave it as a default one, which is present. Now, once this is done, I'll keep the remaining values as it is. Okay, it says metric uh, namespace. So I'll just create the next button. Now here, we have created a metric filter. Now, once this is done, I'll click this create metric filter. Now, so this is going to create a metric filter for us. See the metric filter here, it says stop instance count, and it's going to filter for the pattern for stop instances. Okay, so this is how I'm going to create my metric. Next, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to uh, create an alarm. So under the metrics, 
I'll, re I'll click on this all metrics and let's do one thing. So let's do in a scenario, okay? So this is my log groups. Under my log groups, we've got uh, the metrics. We have created the custom metric. Now, along with this, we can also create the alarm. So log streams, here we'll select our metric filters. Okay, once we select this metric filter, let's go ahead and create the alarm for us. Okay, so we'll have to select this metric and now we'll have to select it as the create alarm. So this will help me to create an alarm. Now, once this is done here in the screen, we can specify the metric condition. So I'll keep the default values over here. Metric name is this and statistic is the sum, which is the default one and period is five minutes. Now, what I'm going to do right here is I'll select the threshold type. I'll select the threshold type as statistic, static. And so it says when EC2, when EC2 stopped instance count is. So here for greater than or greater than or equal to, I'll select this threshold. I'll mention it as one. Okay, now I'll press the next button. So it's going to, I'm just creating an alarm. So if my stopped instances is greater than or equal to one, what is it that I want to trigger? So here I'll specify my alarm state trigger to be equal to in alarm. And I'll select a new SSN topic. And I'll select an SSN topic as create new topic. And I'll mention my topic name as my EC2 topic. Okay, I'll specify the data inside my topic. Next, once this is done, so we can specify the email address. So here we can mention the email address that we want to receive the alert. Let's say I'll mention my email address over here. Now, once this is done, I'll create a new topic right here. Okay, so once I create this new topic, next, what it is going to do is, it's going to create a send confirmation to the email address. So what we have to do is we'll have to confirm the email subscription. So in order to do that, okay, let me just go ahead and do this. So I'll show it to you guys how it actually looks like. So this is how it would look like it says, you have chosen to subscribe to this particular topic to confirm, please press this button which says confirm subscription. So I'll click on that button which says confirm subscription and this is going to confirm the subscription for us. So you'll get the notification that says subscription confirmed. Okay, now once the subscription has been confirmed, I'll do I'll click on the next button over here where we are building. So I'll click on the next button. Now here in the screen, I'll have to give the name for the alarm and complete the steps. So I'll have to mention my alarm name. I'll just give my alarm name as per my preference. I'll say my stop EC2 alarm. Okay. Now, once this is done, we can mention the description as well. I'll say alarm to count the stop DC2 instances. Now, once this is done, I'll click on the next button. Now I'll just come down and I'll click on the create alarm. So this has created an alarm as well. Now, if I go to my CloudWatch dashboard, okay, if I go over here, so let's, if I go over here and select this alarm, and if I select as all alarm, 
see we can see an alarm and we can clearly see that actions have been enabled next i'll start my ec2 instance to trigger an alarm so i'll start my ec2 instance so i'll go to my ec2 i'll start this ec2 service now on, once i start this ec2 service i'll launch the instances now i'll go ahead and i'll start with linux2 ami next we'll choose the instance type as c2.micro i'll specify the tags over here so i'll just click on the add storage and i'll just go ahead and use the same storage as we have right now and i'll create a new tag for the name i'll say my ec2 instance i'll click on configure security group and it says my ec2 security group i'll uh, i'll go ahead and mention it Okay, I can mention I've mentioned my, uh, in the configuration of my security group and under this SSH, I'll mention it as anywhere. I'll click on review and launch. Next, I'm going to launch. I'll create a new key pair for me. I'll download this key pair. Next, we'll launch the instances. Okay. So this will launch my instances. Now, once the EC2 has been launched successfully, let's wait uh, guys. So I'll click on this view instances. Okay, now currently it is starting. Now in order to trigger the alarm, so current what we are currently doing over here is, we have set the threshold that it should be greater than or equal to one. So if my ec2 instances get stopped okay if it gets stopped then in such scenarios we will have to uh, like restart it guys like i'll show you okay i'll show you so i'm going to stop these instances and i'm going to start these instances if it goes greater than one this is going to uh, create an alarm guys so let me show you how it actually works I'll select this EC2 instance and I'll click on stop instance. So now it is stopping my instances. Let's wait for it to stop and then I'm going to start the instance again. So currently it is stopping.